going to check the garlic, Gerard? Those are Cleo's. Let's go check. Oh, look at the garlic. Oh, my goodness, Gerard. Look at the garlic. Yes, show everybody. Yes, right there is the garlic. Let's go take a look. Oh, yes. Thank you, my love. Look right there. It Gerard. Gerard. Can you see the... It's going to be one of those garden tours. What are you doing? There it is. Garlic right there. Look at that. And they're coming up everywhere. You guys can't see it, but Gerard is like... That is the string of my sweater. Oh, my good Lord. Get a puppy, they said. You'll love it. He'll bring so much joy to your life. Does this look like joy or does this look like complete interference of my walking abilities? <laughs> All right, and this is, let's see if I can find it right there, Egyptian walking onions. All right, it is the last weekend in March. So these are coming. Gerard, I just tied that shoe. Oh my good heavens. Oh, can you hear the birds? Can you hear the birds? And over there in that middle bed, we have Cleones that I got from my sister-in-law. Oh, my sister-in-law is so beautiful. And she's such a lady. Not at all like me. <laughs> but anyway, she sent me some seeds and we are waiting to see what those do. They are excellent pollinators. So that's coming up. All right, and let's see. Okay, Gerard, let's show everybody our elderberry. Our elderberry. Check this out. Right there. Uh, Gerard, nobody can see through your head. Thank you. Elderberry. <laughs> that is our elderberry just coming up through. This thing we had planted way over can you see the blue well head spigot on the other side of the wattle fencing and the regular picket fencing it was way down behind there and i thought if this plant is do Gerard, good lord is doing nothing hold on let me turn you around and i thought that plant was doing nothing absolutely nothing because it was too dry it was being eaten by deer so i asked mitch to move it thinking you know thinking the elderberry is not going to make it it's going to die he dug it up and there was a root ball the size of a big watermelon it just was establishing itself. So I'm really happy to see that that's growing now because I thought, uh oh, we killed it. It was establishing, we killed it. Well, it turns out you can't kill an elderberry. What are you doing, Gerard? What are you doing? Are you the king of the hill? Are you the king of the stump? Oh, the prince of the tiny homestead right there. Oh, he's a digger. He's a digger. I'm not sure. I think this is where the greenhouse is going to go at some point. But we'll see. We'll see wherever Mr. Tiny Retirement decides is the best spot. Look at him. Isn't he so cute? He's so adventurous. I love it. All right, you guys, I don't know if you can see this through the trees. If you look all the way, I'm going to try to, I don't know what mountain that is. Way off in the distance. I don't know what mountain that is, but it has been a discussion amongst us. We here in the tiny retirement house that we are considering cutting down some of these trees so that we can have a mountain view. I don't know what that mountain is, but I'm gonna make it my mission to find out. Look at that tail. Look at that tail. You know what I noticed about him? When we brought him home, he was a very dark chocolate brown. Are you talking to me or no, I'm filming, I'm talking to our guys at home. 
Um, he was he had dark brown ears. I don't know if you remember looking back at the videos when he first came home. And now look at him. He's lighting, lightening right up his, I dare say he's starting to turn gray. Which is kind of funny because his mother was a total um, liver colored. And dad had this pattern, but he was silver. I just tied that shoe, Gerard. I just tied that shoe. Gerard! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're interested in you. Yeah, Louise isn't scared of you. Okay, this is not going out to go potty. I think I got conned. Oh my good lord. Chinese dog trying to get back home, it looks like. Crazy Shih Tzu. All right. <laughs> Gerard and I would like to thank you for walking around and hanging around in the in the yard and doing the garden tour with us. So this Gerard and I want to thank you for hanging out with us. Until next time. Have a great day. <laughs>